The cool thing for the investors is there's a lot of cash flow that continues to flow while we're doing the renovations and the cash flow gets better and better. Now, flip that into new development. What's the number one secret to investing in, uh, you know, build to rent and in commercial real estate that you found so far? <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's unpack this. Let's rewind this train a little bit. Um, I, I got started in multifamily and apartment buildings and largely we, what we do is we buy um, underperforming or distressed apartment buildings and we flip them kind of like you flip a house. It's a value add scenario. When you flip a house, you, you sell it a little bit later for more money. Well, what we do in apartment buildings is we flip it over multiple years. We keep occupancy high, right? We will do maybe 10 units at a time renovation, then put new tenants in at higher rents and keep churning. But the cool thing for the investors is there's a lot of cash flow that continues to flow while we're doing the renovations and the cash flow gets better and better. Now, flip that into new development. You don't get the cash flow, there's no occupants. Investors get in when we cut dirt. Um, you can get in with, uh, from a purchasing standpoint, purchasing land, you get in with this, this big uh, loan, builder's loan, that you only pay interest on as you draw it. So then we, we, we cut dirt, we put roads, we put utilities in, and then we turn around and we start building the homes. Um, we call it horizontal multifamily. So we'll build these, these small starter homes. We call them like a thousand square foot, 1500 square foot, two bed, three bed. Um, rather than living in an apartment, you're living in a small home. Uh, we have property management, on-site maintenance, all the amenities. It's like a really nice class A apartment complex, but we're building it with single family homes. So out of all of this, you create this community that is worth a ton of money and you bought in for very little because for one you bought a piece of land and then you turned it into roads and sidewalks and utilities and then you turn it into these single families as we build these single family homes say we do 10 at a time we start filling 10 at a time then we work on the next 10. uh the cash flow starts flowing from there but you can imagine we buy a piece of land. I'm just going to use made up numbers, buy a piece of land for a million dollars. We put 10 million into it to build houses and it sells for 30 million. So the growth on your money is quite large. Um, and there's a little bit of cash flow. It just takes a little while to get there. Okay, cool. Let me unpack a little bit of that. So yeah. maybe most traditional value add real estate, you buy an existing building, you rehab it and you, uh, you know, you know, keep cash flow along the way and then you sell it for a profit. And your model is, and, and then, and, and, or you're just building single family homes by themselves. Your model is more like, Hey, built buy a big, huge piece of land and let's build, uh, 150 units, say 150 homes, right? Individual homes, homes yes. right? Yeah. But there's, they're, they're de detached thousand square feet, two to three bedroom units. It takes a little while to get it going. Right. Um, because yep. you have to, you know, develop the land, uh, but you're all in for about 11 million, let's just say on 150 homes and you're selling it for to run the entire project for 30 million. Is that a fair summary? Yeah.